ready him. Go and get him. He's going towards that bench. Sorry, so sorry, mate. Kaz. Spoil the surprise. Oh, sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. I could get used to this designer living look. And the breakfast certainly beats tea and toast with Rita's knickknacks. Uh, talking to Rita, why don't you be sending search parties out? Our secret's safe with her. Well, then, you get yourself back to bed and I'll bring this through. It's getting late. It's bank holiday. Still, we don't want anybody spotting me sneaking out now, do we? Hey, Mr. Connor. Hmm. Yeah, take that. Go and throw it for us, eh? Good boy. Yeah, they don't give you a slap on the wrist in the army. So they've kicked you out? Discharged. They packed me off with nothing but the clothes I was standing in. I tell a lie, they demanded I give the uniform back. And what, you've just been sleeping rough? A couple of weeks, yeah. But surely they're supposed to, like, fix you up with something, aren't they? Kaz? Yeah, they tried. I told them to stick it. So you've just cut your nose off to spite your face? I'm the victim here. I said to them, this is just ticking boxes, this is. What did they say? They told me I should try my mum and dad. Oh. <laughs> Are you for real? Well, surely they won't want to see you living like this. They'd probably just rub their hands together. They'd say it was just another mess I'd got myself into. Top of a long, long list. Maria? Oh, no. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Look, I know I overstepped the mark. And I'm sorry I was wrong about Aiden. Just one night. You said that last time, didn't you? I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, this is all the cash I've got on me, so it might buy you, like, a breakfast and a bus to the job centre. I'm going to have to go now, cos Liam's got his holiday float. Liam! Come on, Ozzy! Come on. Good luck, yeah. Come on, sweet. Bye! Bye! See, I you glad we stayed here last night. No more cases to trip over, no clouds of dust, no more is this your co player mine. Honestly, babe, hmm? I haven't missed it. The smell of stale beer and... What? <laughs> Liz's perfume. <laughs> Does she buy it by the keg or what? Mm. Ah, Lee's a dark horse, isn't she? All them weeks and she didn't cough once that the baby was next. Do you not mm. think that's a bit weird? Well, she must have been upset. It did happen quick. Yeah, but we're sisters. Tell each other everything. Mm. Oh, I tell her everything anyway. Right, you're gonna be all right packing on your own because I need to nip to see Maria. What for? I just think she's a bit upset, babe. Last thing we want is a maudlin and getting back with Luke. She needs a new bloke now, fresh start. Mm. What if I want you to spend the day with me? Mm. Oh, okay, jealous legs. Mm. You get to spend the night with me <laughs> and every other night mm. for the rest of our lives, hopefully. <laughs> You're not staying, it's just a flying visit, right? Babe, you'll survive. Besides, you'll be packing up your things to move to mine, won't you? Mm. I'm going. Give me a kiss. Mwah. <laughs> oh, wasn't expecting homework. Well, you're in the Premier League now, Ireland. Strictly speaking, Jason will be. As Jason's proxy, that's the latest draft of the paperwork, bigging up the affordable housing angle. If it keeps the planners happy and you and Jason happy, which reminds me. Councillor Mekov, can I grab ten minutes of your time, please, to talk about the Calcutta Street development? Oh, Pat, if only I had ten minutes. you barely got time for me and I'm her husband. Look at you. Ah, glad to see you lugging all the heavy stuff for you, ma'am. Yeah, well, that's just a name come back. You know that man? Ah, oh, no, Nick's just doing some trips. I didn't realise we had so much stuff. <laughs> I mean, we're at a loose end if you need a hand. Oh, uh, Steve, we're talking about taking a run out. Well, all right, I'll, uh, I'll ring him. No, 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 don't bother him. Aidan's weaseled out of Bell, can I see? Yeah, he's washing his hair. Ah, typical. 
Hi, babe. Boss? What? Heading round? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, that's another little bonus where we work. I'm not your boss, and you're not mine. Music to me is. He's a tyrant. <laughs> I spy a window. Ah, uh, yeah, and that's called lunch. Well, I'll buy you a butter. Might even stretch to a drink. And if you smile nicely, I will drive you to that two o'clock. Oh. Bingo. <laughs> Great. OK, got to shoot, guys. Thanks. Put in my hands. Good job. Because we don't get planning from her lot. That's my land and Jason's investment down at Swanee. Relax. Ladies love a rough diamond. Oh, good morning. Actually, no, it's not. Oh. No, it's horrible. I've never guess who I've just seen in the park. Oh, we can't have that, can we? We'll cheer her up, won't we, Audrey? She said she was desperate. Oh, yeah, look. Got more roots than come to Kinte. No idea who that is, by the way. It's something my mum used to say. Uh, they're fine. Yeah, try telling her. Well, it's bank holiday. Yeah, but here you are. Yeah, stock taking for three hours. Well, it's lonely tech too. Yeah, I said you'd squeeze her in, sweetheart. Well, now we're Nick and Miley Anna dating again. We're like family, aren't we? What shall I call you? Oh, Mrs. Roberts is fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've mixed your colours for you. There you go. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't believe it. You love film club. I love it. Lots of girls go. The first rule of film club is... Don't talk about film club. Genius. Oh, I'm not much for... He is a nightmare. He always spots the twists. Is it cuts me? Should we organise some fundraising? Too late. The building has already been sold. Yeah, converting it luxury flats. Oh, oh is that that place that Pat Phelan's doing it with his flash mate down Calcutta Street? Oh, why don't that surprise me? We could appeal, start a petition. No, oh, forget that. Once Phelan gets his claws into something, he won't let go. Sorry, Father. Tonight, little Liam's had a sleepover. She's got the whole night. She, I am studying, you know. Well, what I'm saying, love, is that you've done wonders with little Liam, with the football, the swimming, the street dancing. But you've got this whole night to yourself. You've got nobody to share it with. Yeah, well, I'm quite glad of the break, to be honest. Mm, see that classic deflection? She like. Well, she's no saint. She'll admit to that. Oh, will I now? <laughs> and she's picked some ripe plonkers. Come on, Maria. That's true. I mean, Tony Gordon, psychopath. We don't talk about it. Well, yeah, except for right now. Oh. A sensible girl with her feet on the ground, you'd think, but when it comes to men, honestly. I mean, and fancy letting Luke slip through your fingers. Oh, oh, look, she's sulking on me now, look. Get lost. <laughs> anyway, listen, you never let me finish my tale. Oh. You won't believe who I saw sleeping rough on a bench. Papa upset me. Not big Bernie Hicks with the cider. Kaz. Yeah. She was on a bench on the Red Wreck. She's been kicked out of the army. Well, not before time. Audrey. No, come on. I'm not saying she deserves to be homeless, but I wouldn't let her loose with a gun, honestly. She's a head worker, Eva, and this one fell for it, right? Well, did you take her home? You, Kaz? No. Oh. Well, we all know our limits, I suppose. But we can't all be perfect. Well, why don't you come out with us tonight, eh? I'd love that. Who's we? Me and Aiden. <laughs> Imagine Aiden's face if I tipped up. There's never post on the bank holiday. Oh, the wait's killing me. Oh, babe, I've Googled this specials lack. The types that apply, the graduates, teachers, experienced people. There's folk in the 30s and 40s trying. 34. You could be up against someone like me. You want a custard cream? No, it's uh, I'll need to be in shape when I'm pounding the beef. Hey, hey, it's coming. Oh, oh, are you off now, Mr. Connor? I am. Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you for agreeing to the overtime. I'll be glad of these new lines. I've got a business trip to Bournemouth coming up in the next few weeks. Oh, it's all right for some. Oh, can you pack me in your suitcase? I love the seaside, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trade fair, not a jolly, but it could be very lucrative for us with the right samples to show. Count on us, Mr. C. Kate's got the keys. She'll lock up. Have a good day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Bye, Bye. 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 Right, <clears throat> minions. 
down tools. <laughs> found this girl living rough at the factory. I mean, she was desperate, she had nothing, and I took her in and I nursed her, yada yada. But the whole time, Aidan was like, do not get involved. And then it kind of, well, it did, really. It, it brought us closer together. Mm. But I am a massive believer in karma, May. Oh, yeah, what goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you make your own look in this world. You're all living proof of that, Audrey. Oh. <laughs> mm. 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 I thought Aidan was your typical player. Sharp suit, fast car, spend the night, then you don't see him for dust. But how wrong could it be, eh? I mean, he treats me like an actual princess. He's like, he's just the right side of possessive. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I So he's flattering, but he's not controlling. Mm. Honestly, if I could bottle him and share him out, I would. Oh, <laughs> oh what a lovely thing to say, that. Yeah, there's a lot of people around here who'd like to bottle him. Well, yeah, half the girls in Manchester, probably. Oh, come out with us tonight, on. No, I've already told you. Oh, come on, you do the same oh, for me. Oh, just five. give it up, will you? You're like a dog with a bone. Oh, Maria. Oh, take the hint, Eva, I'm a grown woman. I don't want to sit there in my big green airy suit while you and Aidan slobber all over each other. It, I was just being friendly. Just, I didn't... Go for your drink, OK? Stare into each other's souls. Enjoy it while it lasts. Cos believe you me, it ain't gonna last long. Hey, really no, and you can shut up now, Audrey. You're the original gold digger. Watch and learn, Eva. You might end up with a shop of your own one day. Stuff karma, just sleep with the right bloke. Oh. Gold digger? But... Uh... And that wasn't touchy, that was just flaming nasty, that was. What have me and Aidan ever done to her? That. It's big enough. Is it straight? Who's got the popcorn? Will someone tell me what's going on? Bank holiday treat. We thought we'd have a film and a snack at. Yeah. What, on double time? Oh. Yeah. It's a perk of the job, there's not that many. But I, I don't get it, because the film's like, what, an hour and a half, two hours? How do you explain our dropping productivity? Good question. But we took the liberty of Scott Palling all the new samples. Well, who's we? Not me. Um, the more experienced machines. Oh. <gasps> oh, loves it. Right, what we're we watching? Oh, I better not be a weepy or I'll disgrace myself. Oh, what about your dad? Oh, the cat's away. Cheers. Oh. I've come off my bike. Did you hit your head? Yeah. Right, let's have a look. Do you feel dizzy? Oh, a bit. Run! <gasps> Wait! Well, I'm, I'm glad the guarantees are in place. I'm guessing that you didn't write this. These are Vinny's words. He swallowed. Thank you. He swallowed a dictionary that far. Anyway, what, what do you think? Well, I like the changes. I mean, offering 10% of the apartments for affordable housing. That's a great initiative. Oh, a little shout out to you, Councillor. Oh. Meanwhile, I can guarantee that this is the driest white in the house. And before you ask, You've read these as my counsellor, but you'll be drinking this as my neighbour. So I want you to relax. I've been in this game a long time. Well, given the concessions you've made, I am very happy to support this, and I'm sure most people on the committee will feel exactly the same. We care about local people. Do I look any different? Mm -mm. No. And she charged me full price, Audrey. So you didn't see Maria? Oh, no, I saw her, all right. Spent ages buying her up. Then I invited her out with us, right? She goes off on one, calls me a dog with a bone, has a pop at you and storms out, leaving me with a big wet head, by the way. I don't get it. Well, 
Is this something I should know? Is this some kind of ancient con of beef that you've not told me about? Um, it's Maria. I'm trying to warn you. Yeah, well, not loud enough. No, I've heard it from a few people. She's a piece of work. Mm. Looks like butter wouldn't melt until she turns. Mm. This is personal. We've both got history, Aiden. I would just... I'd rather know. If you've messed about with one of her mates, I just... I swear. Babe, I can take it. I didn't. I was so nice to her, it's really upset me. Come here. Have you packed? Oh, I've just been serving the odd customer. Look, Steve needed me. Just till Liz and Michelle get back. They're helping Leon with a move. Oh, sorry. Don't mind me. I just force of habit. Look, babe, you don't deserve this. And Maria doesn't deserve you. Just keep your distance from now on. One minute. Oh, babe, forget it. Look, no, forget it. I'll see you later. When I've finished packing, we'll go for that drink, yeah? Hello, hello. Went to the flat and said, where are the workers? And here you are with your feet up. Ha. Well, to be fair, Liz has walked about 20,000 steps in her heels. She'll suffer for it in her 60s. Why fret about the distant future? We'll all be living on the moon by then. <laughs> so is that for us, then? What is it? Mother-in-law's tongue. <laughs> what? Plant spiky leaves. It's a peace lily, actually. Oh. I wasn't exactly doing cartwheels when I heard. And now? Now, I think it's time this family had some good news. Well, then, you make the most of it, Gail. I intend to. In fact, I think I'm taking some time off from the bistro. You've only just got back. Yeah, I know, but uh, when the time comes, I want to be there if you need me. Right, well, <clears throat> that's really kind of you, but we haven't even discussed you, OK? Yeah, I mean, it's all been a bit of a whirlwind, really. I'm too. Well, I'm here. Just holler. <sighs> Alex, tell Sally what you were telling us this morning about Calcutta Street. The first real film club. No, 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 not that. Who uses the building? Me. Nicola, Becky, Hallie. Who are? Oh, look, it's it's a mixed group, OK? Some young people with Downs, some with other disabilities. Yeah, and they're all going to be turfed down so that Pat can convert them into luxury flats and his mate can make a killing. Are you sure this is a project you want to put your name to? Well, there must be loads of halls for hiring Weatherfield. Why don't you ask Yasmin? She'll give you a discount on the community centre. But Oak Hill Fencing Club. Under 11, dodgeballs, the feral folk choir. All 60 of them. Mm. It's not just a building they're taking, so. Craig, what are you doing? Here. You could have knocked your teeth out or worse. My elbow's locked. Well, you've got to go easy. You're doing too much too soon. You could live twice, that. Well, only maybe, and that's after eight years' training. I hope you don't have eight years. Then we'll have to make do with the time we got, won't we? I'll help you. Would you? If you do something for me. Your mate's with Bethany, yeah? Well, she hasn't got many. She can be a bit mouthy. Yeah. Yeah, well, just, just keep an eye on her for me. I didn't know you knew her that well. well she's a good kid, you know, I worry about her. She's having a tough year with all the stuff with Callum and her mum winding up in hospital, then losing Kylie on top. Most people would have gone under. Cool. I'll keep an eye out for her. Nothing heavy, just let her know she's not on her own, yeah? We said. I've been trying to ring you. <sighs> well, stop. What if Eva had picked up? Uh, when did she blow your tea for you or not? Uh, you agreed. And then what do you do? Kick off for no reason. In front of Audrey, get your dicks in about and then storm out. Yeah, well, she drove me to it. Oh, by trying to be kind. Kind? Kind? Adrian, she's like a performing seal. Oh, look at me. Look how wonderful my life is. She just wants to be your friend. When you think that's a really good idea, dear? No, it's a terrible idea. Exactly. So can you just keep her away from me, please? Ten mile radius would be enough, Ta.
Let's see how you're looking, Miss Bunty. He's uh, getting his phone fixed to interrupt at your peril. Hello, Sally. Please, come in. Sit down. No, look, I, I won't keep you. It's just some very important information has come to light on the Calcutta Street project. OK. I'm not saying I'm withdrawing my support. Not per se, but it seems this development is going to hit the community hard. With new homes? <laughs> at affordable prices. Well, with the loss of a focal point, I mean, that is a hugely popular meeting place. And I was elected on a ticket of the community for the community. I need to go away and do some long, hard thinking. back in Weatherfield in half an hour.